when I came up here last year and looked around, I, I saw this ranking calendar and I was very, very impressed by it. And I said to Matt Rabideau, my assistant GM, that one of the things that uh, was on the list to do this year once we got to North Bay was to practice here. So. The North Bay Battalion took to the outdoor ring for a more relaxed practice designed to help build team chemistry and bring them back to their roots. Anytime you take the guys out of the, their normal routine and for fun, it, it, it creates a real sense of bonding and allows the guys to build stronger. Especially at this time of year, those type of things are really important. There's a lot of outdoor games now in the NHL and stuff like that, so it allows the kids to get back to the roots. And for a lot of the kids, uh, you know, that's where they started playing on outdoor rinks. So uh, it's great for them to get back out there in an organized setting and have some fun. Yeah, I think, you know, whenever you get out of your, your regular routine and, uh, you know, switch things up a bit, you know, it's, uh, it's good for the guys. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's getting pretty, uh, pretty intense this time of year, you know, playoffs coming up and, uh, you know, making a big run for, for first in the division. So it's nice to, you know, get your mind off that for a little bit and, uh, you know, just bring, uh, bring, bring you back to your roots a bit and, uh, you know, get outside and, uh, you know, play on some, uh, some fresh ice. Yeah, definitely a reminder of when you were a kid. I remember as a kid, like, I used to go out in the ponds all the time. I'm sure a lot of guys, every guy can speak for himself, and they've been out in the ponds since they were, like, five years old. So, for sure, bring you back to your childhood memories. Uh, anytime you guys can, like, go away from a normal practice and then get together as a team and have some fun, it's any team building for sure. There's a different set of challenges when you take to the ice outdoors, but the Bill Barber Complex held its own and drew compliments from the battalion brass. I mean, the actual ice here was great. I mean, it was uh, the ice was great, and you got to be a little bit more accurate on your shots because the glass does or the screen doesn't go as high. So, uh, I mean, other than that, things uh, hockey's hockey. It's a perfect day for it. You know, a little a little snowfall, and uh, you know, the ice was actually really good for for being outside. So, it's fun to you know it brings you back to you know playing on backyard rinks and stuff like that. So, I think all the guys had fun, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can do it again sometime. Players had to dress for the cold temperatures, some using whatever was available at the time. Oh, I just threw on a couple layers here. I uh, threw a Gatorade towel under my helmet to kind of protect the ears a bit. But, uh, you know, once you get going and once you get skating, the, the legs warm up and uh, you know, it's, it's all right. I got, my, I got the little skull cap going, so I'm okay. But uh, the ears are definitely cold and the toes are frozen. We asked Dan Butler about what his team thought about the practice outdoors and the adjustments to Northern Ontario. I think they're really enjoying it. Uh, they're realizing all the great things you can do in the winter up here, whether it's snowmobiling, ice fishing, playing hockey outdoors. and There's a lot of uh, great things that you can do that, quite frankly, uh, they wouldn't have been able to do down south.